In this video, we'll go over some of the basic functions of 3CX Surveyor, a dialer by VoIP Toys. Uh, 3CX Surveyor is a web application, and as such, you can access it from anywhere. So if you're wanting to put together a call center and you don't have a bunch of cubicles, your uh, agents can work from home using a web browser, internet connection, and a 3CX soft phone. Um, to log into 3CX Surveyor, you just use your 3CX extension number and PIN number. And uh, so I've logged in as a manager right now, and as a manager I have access to uh, quite a number of options. Let's first take a look at the dialer, and that'll give you a quick overview of what the dialer looks like and how it works. You'll see that it's a widget-based interface, so these are movable components that you can resize. You can change the order in which um, they appear on the screen simply by moving them around. Um, so we don't want to dictate to you how, you wor how your workflow goes. Um, you get to control the order in which um, things appear on the screen. Also, if you don't need a particular widget, you can remove it. So notice up here, no, none of the icons are active. But if I close one, then an icon becomes available click on that icon and it will restore the widget to its location. So if you have a campaign that you're working on and you don't need an agent script, you can get that screen real estate back by removing the widget and changing the screen size. And then when you're working with another campaign that does require it, you can put it right back again. So while it's a web interface, it has some desktop-like uh, attributes, um, and just for fun. You can also change um, the appearance of the web page. So we try to give you um, some flexibility on how your work environment displays. All right, so the, the next question then is going to be, how does this application work? Well, uh, let's put these back in the order that I prefer. So um, normally you would select a campaign that you're assigned to, and then a campaign can have multiple lists. So I'll select a list off of the car sales cam campaign and choose the Toyota 0% financing list. And what you'll see is that it has gone out to the list and it has found the next available person in the list that needs to be called, that hasn't been called yet. Um, and you can see here that I have six people left on my list before I run out of people to call. Um, so if you press the dial button, it will call this number. If you call that number and they say, mm, that's not the right number, I need you to call something else, you can type in the number here. And then press dial, and it will dial this number instead. Uh, when you're done with the conversation, you can click on the Done button. If you want to transfer a call to a uh, sales supervisor, you can transfer the call there. Um, you can disposition the call here. So I made a sale, and I made this much money, or nobody answered, or a bad telephone number, so on and so forth. Um, if you call and they say, I'm sorry, but uh, my spouse is not available right now, and they're going to make that decision, could you call back on such and such a date? and call this number. So you can schedule callbacks, and then when you've completed the callback, you can just check this to be done. Um, this is a widget that was designed for a newspaper company, so it might not be applicable to you. But the whole point is that we recognized that the dialer was going to need to support lots of different business models. And so the widget interface allows us to customize the user interface so that it uh, is it works well for your environment. So um, let's skip over to how, uh, and this is um, making a message here to warn me that I've um, pulled up a uh, customer, but I have not dispositioned a call. I'm going to go ahead and leave the page. So 
the way uh, 3CX Surveyor works is that you um, have a central database where you import records. So a simple browse button will let you browse to a CSV file, a, an Excel CSV file, and Im import that into the central database. And then you create campaigns by selecting uh, groups of users from this central database. So let's take a look at how you would create a campaign. So in, in our test environment, I have a campaign called Global Campaign Car Sales. And within this campaign, I have some lists. Um, let's take a look at one of the lists. So this is where you specify the name of the list. Um, one of the nice things that you can do with Surveyor is create a campaign in advance. So if you knew that 0% uh, financing for Toyota cars was going to start on a specific date and end on a specific date, you could set up this campaign to only be available during this, the date range that you specify. And then if you sold all your Toyotas, I suppose even though the start and stop time hadn't uh, been reached, you could manually inactivate the uh, list so that people can't make calls on it anymore. Um, I showed you uh, agent script. Let's see, here's an agent script, and this is a WYSIWYG um, HTML editor, so you can come in and you can change just about any attribute that you want. So you can change colors, you can change the size, you can change the font. Um, it's pretty much uh, a very simple editor that allows you to make changes to the campaign. Um, if you want to control who has access, you can uh, add and remove users from access to the list. Um, and then finally, we have a built-in query manager that allows you to build either simple or very complex queries to select from the central database. So for example, right now, my query says that user, the contact must have a state that's equal to Minnesota and a city that begins with F. And you could add another one, let's say, by zip code. So I'm going to select, select zip code. Um, and uh, you could choose, I suppose, equal, and then specify a value. Hit the apply button and it would filter this list to be specific to this group of users. Press the save button and you've created a, a list. So that's in a nutshell um, the basic working. We also have reports that you can select from and these reports allow you to export the results in various formats, um, places where you can specify simple filters or more complex filters using again the built-in query manager. Um, so that you can see performance on uh, your various employees, how many uh, calls they're making, what uh, percentage of sales they're getting, uh, what's the total volume of sales, um, all of those kinds of information. Um, so let's log out because we're in as a manager now. Let's log in as a simple user. Now you'll see that the only option I really have is to select the dialer. And I can only choose from those lists that I have been assigned. So you saw before that we had two lists. Now I only see one because I'm only assigned to one of the two lists for the current user test user. Well, that's a quick overview of 3CX Surveyor. I um, hope this was helpful.